Hey, welcome back to another Mind the Mic podcast. I'm your host, Shubs, here with a very, very special guest. Uh, a special guest in, in a lot of ways. Uh, one, I'm a father, so it's a special guest because I see him, you know, being all about his family. So that's pretty cool. And obviously, the content that he makes with his family is what's, you know, made him known to myself and everybody else. But also, just the journey he's on at the moment as a uh, going from fat dad to fit dad i think that's inspirational too uh people might know him as uh javier 676 uh eli matangi what's goody brother how are you so, my brother. Brother, thank you so much for having me brother appreciate nah. it man nah, you should get you uh, uh, introduce me more often man no brother i just want to uh, yeah i just want to give you uh, give you your flowers because uh you know, I think today is day and age, especially a lot of people want to tear people down. Uh, you got to, you know, sh- when you see somebody inspire you, you know, in whatever way, brother, even if it's just your neighbor, brother, you know, sh- say, bro, yeah. appreciate that, cuz you're, you're awesome. So, yeah, brother, I love, I love how, how on you are for your family, brother, and how, you know, they are the centerpiece of your world, obviously, God, all that stuff too. But yeah, it's awesome, brother, keep doing that. But for anybody that's never heard of you, where do you come from? Uh, Take us back to our young Eli Matangi. <laughs> so, fam, uh, so yeah, as, as the brothers mentioned, my name's uh, Eli Matangi. Um, happy husband, proud father. Uh, I am uh, Tongan by blood. Um, growing up, uh, I've, 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 I tell a lot of people I'm like two of the Pacific. Yeah, I've, I've lived in everywhere around the Pacific, from Hawaii, Fiji, Tonga, uh, New Zealand, oh. and here in Australia. So. Um, I was one of those naughty kids eh, that got sent around to live with the aunties and the uncles. Um, oh, we would have been brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> then you would know exactly. You know exactly what you're talking about it. So. It's yeah. just that. Where were you um, born, dogs? Hey? Where were you born, dogs? I was born in Tonga. I was born in Tonga. Um, so I, I guess if you say by law, I'm, I'm American. Uh, I'm Australian now. I've, I've gained my citizenship here. Yeah. But I was American because yeah. um, we moved to Hawaii when I was like one. Okay. Um, and mom and dad's lived there for years. And then um, I think when I was hitting my early teens, uh, yeah, that's when trouble kind of came knocking. Well, not coming <laughs> knocking on my door. I was just knocking around. The <laughs> <laughs> I moved back to the islands and uh, just live with my auntie. And by the time, so I was supposed to stay with her in Tonga. But when I reached Tonga, um, her husband was a lecturer at the University of the South Pacific. Mm-hmm. And they got a contract in Fiji, and so they're like, "Oh, we're, we're gonna we'll move to Fiji. Do you want to come along?" I was like, "Oh, well, I don't really have a choice right now." <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I moved to Fiji, and then um, ended up I went back to Tonga to stay with my nana for a bit, um, and then I finished off in New Zealand, my high school. Um, so yeah, man, there's different places, different life experiences, but they all, yeah. I guess, they all mold the person I am today. So. Yeah, even the accent, because the twang is different, eh, Docs? Yeah, it's, 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 but it's a bit everywhere, eh, because I got a lot of people that are like, oh, you got a bit of American in there. And obviously, in Oz, like, they just see a big brown guy, they assume I'm from New Zealand, too. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100, 100. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was always wondering, too. I was like, wow, where does the British accent come from? But, uh, <laughs> hey, just like you said, brother, man of the Pacific, eh, all over, American, Tongan, New Zealand. Yeah, Did you live in, um, used to live in WA, too, eh? Originally, so my whole life in Australia, yeah, I'm originally from WA, man. Um, lived in Perth for about what, eleven, twelve years. Yeah, um, solid. So, That's where I live. Yeah. That's where I live. I'm in Perth. You're from you're you're from Perth, right? Yeah, well, you're from Fagatani, but yeah, you live in Perth, brother. Been here for a while. Yeah, hundred Perth, brother. Nice, what, what, what'd you live the great WA cuss? <laughs> uh, so, so my, brother, it's funny you say that. My wife is from. She's she's a Queenslander. She's um. Oh, we, okay. met, we met in Perth, but for all the years we've been married with the kids, it's it's always been around my family. And um, her mom had an accident back in 2017, mm-hmm. and she wanted to come back to Queensland. But see, I, I, we finally moved back in 2021. But since 2017, it's just been ongoing arguing. And because bro, I was stuck with Perth, eh? I was like, no, nah, oh, yeah. This, yeah. But I have to say, bro, Queensland's been good, man. I love it. It's been treating me very well, um, and. The girls love it here. So, yeah, not too bad. But, yeah, Perth, Perth is always home, bro. Yeah, solid. Can you tell us how the love story goes? How did, how did you meet wifey? <laughs> oh, she has her own version, eh? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> well, give us, the, give us, version, give us eh? the real version, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. So, um, I, used to, I used to bounce at uh, Metro's in Frio. Oh, yeah, that Metro. Frio or in yeah. City? 
Uh, Frio, Metro's Frio. Oh, yeah. I used to work for a company called Firm Security. Um, they do True, a yeah. bunch of venues. Yeah. So they got Metro's Frio. They got, I don't know if you're familiar with the South of the River, but they got the gate um, in Coburn. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know Mitchell's Fury. My, my uncle back in the back in the late nineties, he got shot there, brother. He was a he was bouncing yeah, there too, though. Bro, yeah, my, I, I, yeah, I got, got some got stories. Shot. I got yeah. some stories from Mitchell's Fury. Eh? But yeah, I was bouncing at the door, and um, my wife and her best mate came, and they were just they were gone, but they were wasted. And um, she we were just chatting. She wanted a photo of me, and I was like, oh yeah, sweet. So to yeah. me, it was just you know just another night, just bloody Balangi girls drunk taking photos and chatting to the bouncer trying to get in. <laughs> and then she left. she left and she came yeah. back two weeks later and um yeah man it was just history from there yeah we just exchanged numbers and just chatted and um yeah now we're here today. have a look back <laughs> there go. solid solid and how many children do you got just for anybody that doesn't know brother like yeah, uh, but, many... I'm, a, I'm a girl dad man i got four girls so my eldest yeah, is uh that's my my wife's daughter she came into my life when she was seven and yeah. then I got three little young ones too. Um, so 10, 8, and 6. Mm. Um, but yeah, they all got personality of a 50 year old woman. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to you too, Docs, for, for stepping up, you know, and, and being, you know, that's my daughter too. That's that's our own, Docs. Especially yeah. seven years old, Docs. That's pretty, they, you know, that's a lot older than, you know, some people get the when, they, when they're a little baby, but uh, you know, they got their own ideas by seven usually. So, good on you, Docs. Cheers, bro. Yeah. That's chucking the deep end of that one, eh? Yeah, brother, but girl, brother, shout out to the girl. I only got one G, I only got one daughter, and she's enough. Uh, I can't imagine having four of her. <laughs> she's nah. at the gate, brother. <laughs> we keep you busy. Yeah, 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 100 to go, 100 percent. I agree, I agree, brother. Um, so you meet Mumsy over there, Metro's free, all that, all that good stuff, or bouncing, and how long, how long how long before how long is it together before this thing this thing starts to take off um social media kicked off around uh covid covid time true heaps, um, heaps of people cracked it around covid too hey brother like, yeah, bro. um so i was working in the schools i was a school counselor up north in um Carnarvon. so oh hey Carnarvon. Yeah, this is cool this is like cool town, yeah yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I worked out there some a uh, couple of times oh really yeah, brother. Yeah, I just went to do a little bit of construction in a couple of places up there, brother. Yeah, uh, can have an, Sorry, Yeah, there was uh yeah. there was a bit of a. Oh, I, do, I don't know if you know much about the. There was an all black there that he used to. He's the one that got off the plane and from he got yeah. kicked out of. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. He was up there. Hey, docs. Um, I, mean, yeah. I heard. Yeah, I heard. I don't story know what his name was. Yeah, brother, he was, he was up there at the pub too. Yeah. He passed away a few years back now. That's right, um, yeah. yeah. He's got a memorial somewhere in Kanavan now. Yeah, there was heaps of there's heaps of, and there's heaps of dogs, mind you, everywhere there's a where's the plantations at Dox? Yeah, yeah. So my yeah. that they, they lived in Kanavan, that's why I went. So I finished oh. my um studies in, in Perth because I was doing uni, I done psychology. And I finished and I psychology. landed a job like up in the bush. You were um, flash dox <laughs> psychology, yeah. <laughs> what a guy, my man. Yeah, that was one of those uh forced by the parents go to uni and get a degree <laughs> <laughs> are you are you using the now docs though like are you as a as, a, as an implemented into your life now you like that's my that's my it? that's my field of work um so the tiktok is oh. just a side thing so yeah i actually yeah. work as like a ndi support coordinator and um that's that's like my my field yeah so i worked in a, as a school counselor back in wa mm. um and so on the COVID time there was no school or nothing, eh? So I was just <laughs> on call, like, you know, I'd speak to kids, like, um, like via Zoom and stuff. And then my eldest daughter came around with uh, TikTok. She wanted TikTok. She was, like, around uh, 15 or 16 at the time. She wanted TikTok. And I was like, oh, let me just download the app and suss it out and see if it's, like, safe and stuff. So I downloaded it. But I used to have, like, a bunch of Snapchats that I saved of, like, the kids and stuff. Yeah. So I just uploaded them onto um, TikTok and then... Yeah, bro, they just started blowing up, and I don't know if you're familiar with TikTok, but the app, now I'm a bit good, but back then, man, it was pretty addictive, eh? like, all the trends and everything new coming through, and I just, um, yeah, just started posting content on that, and then we just started blowing up, eh? it was crazy, man, like, I I still try and wrap my head around, like, how, how, much, how much of a reach we have, like, you know, 
It used to be, it's funny, it used to be like just the Pacifico people, but like now, mm. bro, I'm getting bloody Balangis in the, the mall now, and they're like, oh, Javier. <laughs> That's why he's cousin, sir. <laughs> oh my god, it's my wife. Like, We're your cousins, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy, man. But yeah, we, we blew up after COVID. Um, it just went yeah. off from there. And um, I, as much as I, I love my field of work, and you know, I, I, that's that's the my parents put me through union stuff. I'm hoping to do content creating full time. Eh? Like, that's my goal. Um, 100, brother. 100. Yeah. Well, you I'm, sure my flavor, dad, I'm sure my dad frowns sometimes because he's like, he isn't paying your fees and now you're doing TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not not like you know, man. Yeah. Hey, right. but hey, but, but uh, I understand, Docs, you know, that's the, that's the area they came from. They're old school, eh, Docs, you know, they, yeah. you know, that's how you work, but but uh, you know, the world's different now, man. So much uh, change, even just in the last five years, let alone since you know your old man was a young fella. You know, it's been a lot of things have changed, cuz the interwebs is where it's set too, cuz if you can if you can make something happen there, bro, I, I, I want to see that happen. I want to see as many of our people, especially Pacifica people, Maori. You know, we all we all come under their Polynesian triangle, brother. But as, long, as long as many of us can can do that, the better, brother. You know, go and just do something different. Hey, yeah. but yeah, I can imagine the eye rolls, ducks. I can imagine the eye rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it's crazy, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I've I've been given a lot of like you know awesome opportunities with my socials. So far, mm. there's still there's still room to grow, but um, of course, yeah, man. I'm I'm hoping that's that's the path I take now. Uh, it's just yeah. hard, brother. You would know as a dad, like you know, with a like the family and the kids rely on you in regards to everything, you know, f- financial wise and all this stuff. So it's you know, I can't. It's I've been. It's something I've been battling at the moment is to take that leap of faith and just leave my job now and like you know, just f- do all the social stuff full time mm. with it. Other times I'm like, man, you know, I can't leave that work because it's a steady income at the moment. So, yeah, um, but hey, look, at least you're working towards something, dog. At least you got yeah. something. You know, you're working in uh, that. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, docs. You got it in your mind there, and just working towards that. But yeah, you gotta, gotta make sure you're ready because say, hey, will those five girls be coming for you, dog? <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> thick wallet and thick skin, man. So, they, so you need these girls. <laughs> That's scary, dogs. Too much. Dog. How many siblings did you have, dogs, growing up? I have uh, one brother and three girls, three sisters. Oh, that's uh, like a that's like a small talking family, dogs. Yeah, that's. A, <laughs> I think my parents had a TV back then. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, only yeah. TV in the village. Let's go. <laughs> <The> only TV <laughs> in the village. <laughs> There's all my other cousins, but there's like 12 of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got heaps of those ones too, cousins. Eh? Yeah. I've got heaps of those ones straight up. Yeah, 12 <laughs> in the village. <laughs> you close with your siblings? Yeah, very, very close. Very um my my family is very tight knit, and that's something my wife's learned because she's Balangi. Um yeah, but different eh, docs. But <laughs> yeah, she's learned over the years that you know she's not just married yeah. to me, she's married to the whole family. Um, but especially my mom, man. my mom likes to, she likes to be involved in everything, like, you know, and it's, it's funny whether it's financial or relationship with me and my wife, my mom's nose is always in there, you know, she finds a way to like, not in a, not in a bad way, but she's always just like making sure we're all good and, you know, she'll, she'll be saying stuff that like, that's not her place to say, but it's, mm. it's hard for me to say it, but my wife will be like, hey, did your mom just really like get into our business like that? I'm like, yeah, but that's... If you want to, if you want to, you should go talk to him because I ain't talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you just gotta take it up. <laughs> Shout out nah. to my man. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, we're pretty tight, man. Me and my siblings were good. Um, they all in Australia, Perth, uh, ways or WA, or uh, they so they were in Perth. Um, but that's man, I'm just I can't help but be the golden child. Anyway, when I moved over, my mom and dad moved over, and now all my siblings. <laughs> My sister just moved over, the, over. She moved over last month. Yeah, her and her family. So that's all of them here now. So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad. They're literally like just down the road and stuff. So yeah, that's a good thing and a bad thing. So you know, I can yeah. drop the kids off and babysit and stuff. But and then yeah, now I gotta go to church every Sunday because mum's here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Sometimes good, sometimes maybe mad. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> bad, man. Uh, yeah, gotta take the good with the bad. Uh, when you got into the old, uh, you said you started posting your your snappies, your Snapchats that you just uh, took with the kids. What was the what was the first one that just like popped out? Do you remember that one? There was one of me and uh, my my youngest one. She's the the little one. Yeah. Um, she's the one in most of my videos, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were dancing. It was a, a sound clip, too, but we were dancing to like a, you know, the I think it's a T Pain song or the one that goes um. It's like a club oh, song. Was, oh, was that from Usher? Yeah. Oh, it's Usher, Usher, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was with the oven. We were doing the oven doors. Oh, I think I remember that one. Yeah, I remember that yeah, one. Yeah, so we were doing that one, and then that one blew up. Um, I can't. I, I don't remember how much it blew up, but um, that's when that was, was the like, initial oh, like this stuff is like blowing up. Yeah. Yeah. And then just went from there. But like, it's funny, man. It's something. I'm. It's not that I'm like I don't care about it, but like. Views never, it, it never gets to my head. Um, mm. It's just, to me, I'm just like, oh, bro, if my account gets deleted tomorrow, it literally means nothing, eh? Yeah, I'm I just, still me, eh? Yeah, yeah. so no, I look at the views and I'm like, fuck, I wish my bank account looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> No, we Boy, that's we probably what people on. think too, Docs. Like when they see around the streets, they probably think, you know, what about millions of views? It's like, oh, yeah. the face is rolling around like that. Yeah, bro, I, I get like that a that. lot, especially from the Tongan community. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you're rich ass. I'm like, sorry, they're like, bro, your videos hit millions. I'm like, gee, I got like three afterpays. I still got pay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But but that would have just been trippy, yeah, because then you go from you know you can handle your phone to you gotta turn off the notifications or something, docs from yeah, well, it's been it's, I don't even turn on the notifications, eh? Um, yeah. And it's funny because people will be like, Oh, did you see my comment? And I'm like, bro, I'm I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Your comment, <laughs> the moment you push post, it, it gets lost in the comments immediately, man. Like, you don't even... the, what do you mean? Like, like your family or something? Or your yeah, my family or... and friends. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Or even my wife, yeah. she'll be like, oh, did you see me tag you in that video? I'm like, bah, like, I don't even see the notification. <laughs> like, I see just... nothing. Yeah, I see nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to find the right balance, eh, to balance everything out. Um, mm. How you going with that? Yeah, it, it was it was good, but now that I've thrown in the fact that I fit that to the mix, um, I like and doing well. like the YouTube stuff because yeah. I I was just on Instagram and TikTok um, and yeah. Facebook, you know, it's just short reels. But like now that I'm doing longer form videos, um, yeah, man, I'm starting to realize like I'm going into week eight now, and I'm starting to realize like, oh, man, I gotta like be organized and set like allocated times to like do this. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Well, long knew what they were up to making schedules, though. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, I used to just roll with the punches, eh? Yeah. I was be like, bro, this is easy as. And then, yeah, started doing these long form videos, and I was like, ah, oh, shucks, man. I feel like I bit off a bit more than I can chew. Yeah, nah. And that's it, eh, Docs? Like, um, oh, I'm not fucking, I'm not, I never really content created until recently, but I was a streamer for ages on TikTok, and it, like, Got number one on there too in the ranks and all that. But oh wow, yeah, yeah. So it was like a year ago, a year ago this uh, last week actually. But and then I pretty much from then on I just focused on uh, pushing towards uh, creating a podcast. But like doing it, so I want to build the biggest podcast in the world. And it's not even just for um, you know to be like I'm the man, but it's just to be like the bigger I can build a platform, the more I can put on my homies, the more people that are around me, people that look like me, that don't don't get to see, see the, you know, see the light of day, but to share their stories like you're sharing yours here, brother, you know, you know, so, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah, so, but, yeah, so that's been the goal, and then January, we launched the first one, in January, um, and it's been, this will be like mm. 170, 170 since then, but, bro, that's crazy, man, I remember you were telling me, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Ah, just and it doesn't feel like work to go. Like you know, obviously, I'm, um, I'm grateful I'm able to do it every day, Monday yeah. to Friday. But yeah, it doesn't feel like work, docs, and just because it's just me doing what I've done forever, really. Like even on TikTok yeah. for years, I just my battles were just talking to people and having no, like, yeah. getting to know people, and then heaps of them remember me going eh, when I start a podcast. You know, years ago, will, will you come on like for a year? And like, 
yeah, yeah. But then now that now that I'm hitting them up, they're like, oh, fuck, I remember you saying that you're going to do this. I was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, dogs. But, but yeah, no, but I don't it, even, yeah, I'll just, just give it a crack. Hey, the more, I think the more, the more people we have in all these spaces, right? Like what you're doing, even like what I'm trying to do, the more, you know, the more our people can, because you can't be what you can't see. That's you know, right. docs, so sometimes yeah. someone takes people to kick the door down and open the door wider and turn the door into a whole bloody, you know, into a huge ass bloody, you know, Nickman is a highway and it's just, you know, <laughs> flowing. But, you know, yeah, so the more yeah. that we can, you know, whether you're just uh, making a little bit of content or something, the more we can show that you don't have to only, like you said, the use your hands and be broken when you're fucking at 70 years old and then you get your retirement you know what i mean like there's yeah. other there might be other ways out there if you you know and but if you don't see people doing it like the only role models i had docs was like these ones or fucking yeah. rugby players or fucking you know yeah. on the drink docs that's all i had cuz you know those role models so the more like you know and, and, and it's not even to be a role model it's just to, for me to like anybody that's even like my age because i procrastinated for ages to be like Bro, like, just go and give it a crack now. Like, stop waiting or whatever. You know, yeah. everything Maybe is on timing, man. Yeah, yeah, hard. hard. I'm hard. the same hard. as you, man. Yeah. I'm the same as you because, like, I, uh, you, you heard of Bender Brothers, the, um, the, the Island Boys that done their little potty, um, Stuff three boys. So that, that's the first potty I ever jumped on. Um, oh, true. I don't know, but, but I, I don't know, but I'll be on a few bender boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that's, that's why they named the thing. They called it bender yarn. Um, oh, they, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah they yeah. went viral after like one video and it hit viral, and then they were getting like viral. But bro, they were like on. I think they were like only on like thirty thousand followers or something, and they had me on, and um, you know, they were like doing all this stuff and. They were like, bro, what are you doing with yours? Like, what are you doing with your socials? And I was like, nothing, bro. I'm just making videos. There's, there's nothing. Like, it's a different story now, but back then, like, yeah, back, I, and I already hit one million followers, and I was just like, nothing. Like, there was no aspect of business. There was no aspect of like financial gain. I was just doing, you know, I'll get a little collaboration here and there. Yeah. Um, and like, because my mindset wasn't like on that, but like, like what you said about like you doing the parties now, like, it doesn't feel like work. That's that's nah. the same for me, bro. That's the same for me with my content because um, now I'm starting to do like paid collaborations because I'm I'm with a agency now, so I've, I've got a manager. Oh yeah, and um, they're rolling in like some big names and some big companies that. Oh like, shit! Uh, they're gonna pay you for this. Oh hell! Uh, no, let me no. just exit. No, no, let me end the stream. No, 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 no. So um, uh, my manager will reach out on Monday, bro. So uh, uh, say uh, new email. Make new emails, <laughs> <laughs> and uh so uh, we're 30 minutes in now so my manager will be sending an invoice later on <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Wait, that's gonna be extra it goes to an hour oh oh that's nah, gonna cost you more <laughs> <laughs> cut connection oh, oi, docs. wait now nah, i wouldn't even lie docs someone hit me with one of those two and i was like i like i like i thought about it and i was like oh maybe then i was like yeah oh, what, i was today? like no nah, nah, it's all cool. Yeah, 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 yeah Docs, just for the reach out to you. And I was like, oh, like, I understand. Like, obviously, you know, you know, having you on this platform, I could, like, you know, I could grow the platform, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, still, I could I could do that. I could have you on and then never do another one, Docs. Then what? You know what I mean? I still got to keep grinding, baby. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I had the very, what's the name? Titty. The very Titty. You, know, you can't change my mind. Like, you know what I mean? I have him on if you on the other day, baby, you know? There's so many, so many, all, I got quite a few all blacks and there. But again, if I don't keep going and everybody else that's uh, rolling with me, if they don't help, you know, doing what they're doing, well, geez, it's what? up to me. Cause, but yeah, I, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you think I'm Bill Gates, are you? Cause, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no but no. I also oh, understand sorry, yeah, that's how it goes, each yeah. to their own, like, you know what I mean? I'm going to wait till I get to that level then. <laughs> you know what I mean? oh, but no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, so I was anyway, just sharing um, my story. It was no intention to have a... Jab, yeah, so no, 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 I think that no, no, I'm like, oh, fuck, is this more real? <laughs> hint, 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 I got four kids, <laughs> I'm a girl dad, G, <laughs> yeah, nails and stuff cost heaps of money. <laughs> Started already with the penny story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you set me up, Adox, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got four, I got, I got, I'm a, I'm a girl dad, and then I got my mom, like, just financials, and I want to, ah, see, Dox, you got me, you got me. Yeah, yeah, all right, gotta go.
<laughs> but what were you saying? So those, those boys sort of put you on, the Bender boys. They they sort of put you on in the like to sort of pivot into like not just posting it, videos. It changed, but... it changed my perspective because I was like, man, if these guys are like making moves with like this much followers, like imagine the the effects I can do like on my end. Yeah. Um, but what what really changed me is I flew to Sydney and I met um with um the New Zealand content creators, uh Uskay and Torrell and them. They're like it's all in the comedy side of island island human stuff. They're, yeah, they're yeah, pretty yeah. big from New Zealand, and so I, I, yeah. I flew I flew to Sydney for a job with um with them. They were we were all in the same uh, job, mm-hmm. and they were talking to me. And they're like, oh bro, yeah, like I, I just gotta reach out to my manager. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, bro, honestly, you know, like TikTok has got managers. And then when I came back, then I started doing my research. Um, really thankful that I had like the right people in my corner because one of my brother in laws. Um, in the states, he's uh, he's pretty experienced with like content creating and social media oh, sure. marketing and stuff. Yeah, and um, so he he just done his research and then he sent me a few emails and he's like, "Bro, reach out to these guys, organize a meeting." And so um, I signed up with the agency that I'm with right now, and bro, it's been good. Eh? Like, they're really good to the fact that I the only thing that's holding me back from jumping full time is it's not consistent. It's like, uh, oh, okay. it's good money wise and it's, it's good job wise, but it's not consistent. So like yeah. I'll be busy for like two months and then one month will be really, really dead. Um, but you know, as a dad and stuff, we need that consistency. Yeah. So unfortunately the bills stay consistent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, yeah. but that doesn't mean it can't happen to all. That, that doesn't mean it can't, uh, you're on the way doc. So this, you, you got yeah. the step. Like you said before, had the followers, but like was just posting and you know, yeah. you know, notifications of now for you know, the boys. Well, that's what I like too. I like that you see that even though the boys might not have been huge following, they're grinding now. Like, yeah, wow, it's a very like, even us, I've got fucking, I've got one fingernail of followers, bro, not even that, but you know bro. what I mean. But, I, but I'm not bothered by it, I'm just yeah. bro, do the mahi, do you, I know, not tongue and mahi because. Yeah, that's a different story. There's a different kind of money, though. Yeah, that's a different kind of money. Do you know that's what I mean? Kind of podcast. We'll chat about that later. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. We're going to wait till the kids are older for that one, dog. Holy <laughs> Yeah, but... That... <laughs> But actually, that's like for me too, dogs. I don't like. I don't. I'm not bothered. Like even my like. I so we do a sports show. Like we Warriors fans. By the time me and my brother, we watch the Warriors and the Sis Maddie. We watch the the Warriors play, and then I built different shows on the podcast as well. We do those weekly. They're like you know three months, four nearly four months deep, just consistent. Yeah, mm-hmm. we don't have crazy viewership, but we're building. And like I said to the, to them, but let's just you, you keen to jump on. Really, all we're gonna do, like, I'll do interviews and all these kinds of things, but just consistency. Who cares yeah. about? Who cares about views and that? All that kind of kind of stuff. It'll come. You know what I mean? Well, 100%, it's just, yeah. It's just jump on and bring value. Yeah, yeah, like Gary V style, bring free value and continue to you know fill the space with free value and you know what I mean? Like 100%. good stuff will hit. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what's gonna resonate, but I, I, I like that you feel like, bro, I got these. Bro, I got way more followers than you, sir. No, yeah. no, <laughs> no, what about you? <laughs> I was like, oh, man, like just the mindset, because I, if like you say, if you don't, if you don't know, then you you don't know, eh? so um, yeah, that that really opened my mind. I was like, fire out. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm a lot better than where I was back then, but you know, I'm not I'm not there yet. But yeah, like you said, I'm I'm working towards there, and that's the goal. But. Um, so if anybody out there wants to uh, uh, sponsor the dog, I'll put my pay ID number in the bottom yeah. after this. <laughs> oh, not the pay ID. <laughs> I'll just give you guys my uh, after pay link. <laughs> <laughs> how have you been? Like, oh, how have you been? Because you you've been you know you've been pretty you've been trolled like pretty hard from some people. Uh, how, how do you deal with that talks? Yeah, man, it's it's. Learn as you go away. Um, mm. I had a I had a big one that opened my eyes to because I, I don't like being addressed as an influencer. Um, yeah. Maybe because personally, me, I don't watch stuff. And but you know, it's funny I say it, but at the same time, I I realize that there are people that I watch that do influence me, even though I don't think about it. But I don't. I never picture myself to say something and people be like, "Oh fuck, I want to do that because Javier six seven six nine nine I don't, I can't I can't picture myself like that. But, um, true. Wait, Togo, you know what I reckon too? When people like, uh, especially like uh, uh, parents or something, because I, I got it in my little TikTok live thing that I used to do. Like, I got yeah. there before, like, oh, like, 
kids are looking up to you. I was like, oh, if your kids are looking up to me, babe, tell them to close their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but then at the same time, where's the onus? Like, the you as yeah. a parent, that's on you, cuz. Like, you know mm. what I mean? Like, if my kid goes and does something from a content creator instead of something, like, who do they, who should they be spending more time with the whole? Like, you know what I mean? You or a bloody content creator. That means that, you know, that's if that's where they're getting their influence from, you ain't being a parent. <laughs> no, no. Right. Yeah. <laughs> dogs. But yeah, that's anyway, right. sorry, Baba, what you were saying about just all the, the trolls and the big one? Yeah, we um we had an incident with uh, some of the boys. These these young boys, they done a video and trolled my little ones. And um, mm. I posted up a reply video. Bro, I had no intention. I was... To be honest, I was just talking smack, eh? I was just trying to scare them. I was like, bro, just watch your back. Like, you know, I got followers everywhere in Australia, and, you know, they'll, they'll find you. Bro, two minutes later, I was getting DMs on my Instagram and stuff, and people were like, oh, yeah, they go to my school. Oh, yeah, I, 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 they come to my gym. I got their address, everything. Bro, by not even 24 hours, by that evening, um, one of the moms called me on Facebook. She's like, hey, um, we got a bunch of random people coming to the house. They're, like, throwing rocks. They're, like, trying to call out my son and... You know, we have a we have a newborn baby in the house and um and I just sat there, I was like, What the hell? I was like, Oh shucks, like uh, you know, I just jumped online and just spoke out of emotions without thinking like that my following is like actually bigger than I understand and like that the influence I had was bigger than I understood. And like bro, people found them like that, man, and I started panicking it because I was like they they live in Sydney and I started panicking because some of the comments were like, Bro, watch it, man, like as soon as you step out of your house, like we're gonna stab you and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, man, this is gonna be blood on my hands because mm -hmm. if everything gets traced back, it goes back to my video where I'm like, gee, watch your back, bro. I got followers in Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wow. Bro, I dropped that sack the big time, man. Yeah, I understandable, like, docs. That's that's great. Yeah. That's a... yeah. Bro, I spoke but to then... my mom, I was like apologizing. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, she was apologizing. She's like, I'm sorry, my son made a big mistake. He Obviously, they didn't know who he was messing with and stuff, but we didn't know that, you know, like you had all these people here. And I was like, I, bro, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you them know, to go anyway. Well, like, you know, like, yeah. well, I didn't think I did it anyway. Hey. Yeah, well, so what since then, hmm? since then, like now, when I get trolls and stuff, I just, I just have, I, sometimes I'd be sarcastic. But other times I just, I just leave it. Eh? I'm like, so my new thing right now is soon as someone drops like a comment that's like annoying to me. I just message on the bottom and I'm like, bro, don't let it ruin your day, man. You're, you're giving me too much power for me to ruin your day today, man. Like, you don't even know me, so don't let me ruin your day, bro. Just keep scrolling, man. Literally. Like, yeah, so I get some funny replies. Like, oh, yeah, man, yeah. You, like, you're not ruining my day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still here commenting. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah. the funniest is um, I'll get I'll get Karen's, like, you know, commenting on my parenting stuff, eh? Oh, like, That's like, what's funny. the, what's some, what's some of the good one, what's some of the, like, ones you just like, oh, just uh, like, if I'm, if the girls are talking and you know how the girls like crack jokes at me and stuff, and you know they always mock me and stuff. That's the relationship I have with my daughters. But like, someone will be like, but there's oh. Polynesians in general. Yeah. <laughs> we mock each like, other. Oh, that, that's so disrespectful. Like, you need to teach your kids manners, or you need to, you know, you need to let them, like, not let them speak like that. And, I'm like, hey, like, you know, you saying that comment actually reflects a lot more of your relationship with your dad. So <laughs> go sort that out, man. <laughs> not the area, not the daddy issues. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but obviously, because the crazy thing is, they thought, like, hey, you think 2020 wasn't that long ago, you know what I mean? That you were just, uh, I mean, and you're still that human being, but like, you're just a. Uh, School counselor, sort of thing, you know, just working with the baby, yes, like, with the wife, and next minute, boom, you know what I mean? Bro, it's, and, it's crazy, music, and then no one yeah. prepares you for that, bro. No one does, and it's, bro, it's, I'm, I'm still like, I'm still in awe. Like, we go out to public and get recognized, and like, mm. that's been happening since we, we blew up, but like, till now, bro, I, I still, I still feel so grateful eh, that people. And the buzziest thing is when we go to like rugby games or like you know we went to a yeah. rugby game and like you know you you want to take a photo with the players and the players are like oh shit it's Javier <laughs> and you're like oh shit, what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's crazy because they're like 
fangirling over you, and I'm like, bro, you guys are legit people with like skills and stuff, and <laughs> this is just a dad doing TikToks. <laughs> Yeah. But that's the that's the that's the that's the world we live in now. Togo. Hey, no, well, who you go for in uh, rugby or rugby league? Who's your team? I, I'm a union. I follow. I'm a union. So, hey, Western Force. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. Oh, yeah, I'm from, yeah, I'm from Western Australia. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I love Western Australia, man. Like. <laughs> but I, I used to, I used to be a big uh, blues fan, eh? Oh, dude, was, like, way back. Bro, they, were, way they were gun, though, eh, brother? Back in the like, like late nineties, early two thousand. Super 12, eh? Super twelve. Yeah. Uh, oh, remember Rupini? Oh, Rupini up in there. Love, uh, oh, love, love, love. I, I interviewed um Orini Ai, brother. You remember Orini Ai? Orini Ai? Oh, true. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. and he was talking about he had a crack up story about Rupini. He was just saying that he was always just so cruisy, brother. Like when we when it come to um. Doing any of the like, any any testing and stuff, the bro just just like just cruised, but he didn't care. Like it's just like he wouldn't run fast, he wouldn't jump high, but then come onto the field like when it's yeah. game time, yeah. on and and crazy. And then he reckons he was he would always be late. The, the brother would always be late, so they they, they had to move him to a, a house straight across the road from the stadium because he always be late. And he reckons they 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 were doing uh like uh I think it was for when they won the title in whatever O three was it I think. When they won the title, title then, which is probably when you know you, you would have been hearty blues back then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they won. Uh, they won the title in uh, the, oh, that semi final against the Brumbies. The the captains run. The bro's like, "Where's Rupini?" And everyone's like, "I don't know." And then uh, already runs over to his house, and the bro opens the door, just woke up there, eh, and they're already doing their captains run. And he's like, "Hey, we gotta go." And then he reckons like, "Oh yeah, yes, yeah, okay, bro." And then the bro reckons he he runs down the stairs, and he's like, "If you're late, you'd think like you'll be running down the stairs yeah. trying to put your shoes on." Rupini takes like fucking ages. He takes ages to come out of the door. It takes ages to walk down the stairs. Just cruisy, my brother. But yeah, yeah it's right. some cool. They yard. call it Fiji time, man. They call it Fiji it, time. Fiji. And those vines, eh? Cause I don't know what those leaves are, brother. But they work, eh? You know the ones they. Oh. The ailments, cause. Yeah. Ooh, Naholo, brother. Oh, so you yeah. all blacks, man? Obviously, yeah, he's, uh, so, uh, he's a fun. Fact. I went to school with Naholo in Fiji. Oh. Geez. Yeah, bro. You know it's funny. He he never played rugby when we were going when we were in high school. Eh? He was our um, yeah. He was our track star. He was our athlete, like a sprinter. Oh, he's a runner. He's our track star. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, true, docs. What about you? Was you what, was was he uh, was he number two track star after you? Nah, but I was always a more of a track queen. <laughs> 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 Baby, won't you go my way? <laughs> oh, not the track queen. <laughs> yeah, well, but, yeah, we were surprised when he made it because eh? he went to New Zealand for athletics meet. Um, oh, uh, is that how he went? Yeah, he went to New Zealand. I think he was in Wanganui. Um, yeah, yeah, he graduated brother. from Wang Wanganui City Boys. Um, yep. But he went for the track meet, and the sevens team was training at the field, and um, they were playing touch. Bro, and he was gassing, he was gassing some of the players, and then the coach, what's his name? Um, that old grumpy one that always looks angry, the sevens one. Uh, oh, Titans. Titans, yeah, it was him. Um, he was like, Oh, who's that? And so he pulled him and asked him if he wanted to come try for under 20s, eh? <laughs> and wow. boom, there we go, yeah, bro. But they that that you know, that whole leaf stuff, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's like a it's like a village thing, only certain people in the village can do it. Um, I've never like seen it directly, but bro, there's worked there because the holo had a broken leg. Eh? And yeah, he went to the World Cup. It's <laughs> crazy, bro. Well, I'm sure <laughs> there's a bit of like voodoo back in there. <laughs> <laughs> voodoo in <laughs> Fiji <laughs> and in Haiti. <laughs> Some Fiji and voodoo doll in the background, just freaking. <laughs> yeah, hard, brother. No, that's crazy. So, you all blacks fan, though? Oh, Yo, one hundred percent, man. What's yeah, on Australia, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was a time Western Australia was called uh, Kiwi Land with all the kings and the scaffolds. So we'll go with that. <laughs> oh yeah, they were once were warriors, now our scaffolders here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, um, when did you move to Perth? Oh, bro, I've been on and off here 
So my dad's been here, brother, and his family, they've been here since the 90s. Like I said to you, my, my uncle, yeah, he got my, shot yeah. in Mysteries Freeway back in the days. Oh, shout out Uncle yeah. Kali. Yeah, brother. Um, still got the bullet, one of the bullets in his, in his back, too. Um, but there was, uh, yeah, so 90s, bro, mid 90s, my dad moved here, brother. I was only little. And then I came here a couple of times and then um, they moved over to, they moved to Oz. But, but I've been in Perth, uh, but I think 07 when I like moved over for a bit and then. Stayed for a little bit, then moved back, oh. and yeah, so it was those ones, yeah, those yeah. ones. But yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, so on and off since 07, but then I lived yeah. down in like I, I lived down like Esperance and uh, Albany, Bunbury too down those ways, oh, and then yeah. I worked yeah, all over like Harvey, oh, true, Harvey. Me and, my wife, me and my wife got married in Harvey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get yeah. the orange juice and the beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best of both worlds, man. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and a few cousins work at old Harvey Beef too. <laughs> oh yeah, they have heaps of kiwis, eh? Yeah, hunter true. Shout out yeah, to man. Harvey, cause yeah, but it's, um, it's it's funny because like when when I when I first came to Perth around um 2009 mm. or 10, there was barely any islanders, eh? So like me and my other Oi, bro, um, straight up. Yeah, there was barely any islanders. Me and my other bro, the too, eh? There was heaps of moldies, no doctor. Yeah, we should go clubbing and we used to get in for free and get free drinks because we lied to them. We're like, oh yeah, we're just uh Western Force Academy boys here. We're just in the gym. I used to play for Pally for Palm Island. Oh Pally. Wait, yeah. they got the dub last year too. Yeah, hey, they got first the dub last year, man. Yeah, they got the dub last yeah. year, cousin. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, um, that's crack up you said that too because my uncles and my old man and then when they moved over this was in the 90s though when the western reds came in they used to say they were western oh, reds players because yeah, yeah. it's afl yeah they didn't know they were like oh sweet ass come in get drink <laughs> get hooked up brother <laughs> not even <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, one of the wait one of the stories too one of the uncles like you know rolling there with the you know saying they're western reds players nick minute they meet the western red players in there <laughs> No, you're the voice, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. your, your, your people are over there, yeah, not even. <laughs> oh, I don't know them. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> so what's the what's the goal for the for the content? Just to, are you are you are you trying to build that YouTube up? Because like, bro, I'm enjoying that journey. Yeah. For that, cousin. Um, Cheers, bro. Yeah, brother. Yeah, bro. Trying to trying to build my YouTube, um, but. I, I guess with the YouTube, I'm like similar to you with, with my YouTube. I don't really, um, I'm not too fussed about the views and the, the followers on it. Like, you know, I just, I just put my content out there. Cause it's cause if it can, especially my fact that fit that stuff, if it can, someone can like see it and like get, you know, motivated to like work on themselves. Then that for me, that's a win. Name. Like it's a different story of my Instagram and TikTok trying to like mm -hmm. keep the, the views and everything up there. But, YouTube, bro, I just post my videos and I don't really check the analytics or anything like that. But I have yeah. to say, bro, it's, it's pretty disheartening. Yeah, I, I posted a video on TikTok and um, I woke up the next day, bro, and I hit like 3.5 million views. And I was like, yo. So I posted on YouTube shorts. I woke up the next day, bro, and I had like 17 views on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, humbling, eh? Humbling, eh? Bro, She's a different world, YouTube, eh? She's a different world from well, just YouTube from the is study. Like, man. <laughs> YouTube is real, yeah. Like, but if you can crack it on there, eh, brother, compared to... Because people else, be telling yeah. me that, too. Like, bro, crack it on YouTube, cars. Yeah. When you're right there, you think, wow, this is going to... Like, I just heard the same story from a few bros that are... Uh, content creators you know yeah. shout out to all the boys but in the year they're going to post it onto youtube but this is gonna pop on shorts now nah. <laughs> one of the first said he got like i think it was um he got about the same maybe four mil and then posted yeah. it on uh on on the youtube shorts and got three views brother in like two days <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's humbling but it's a good humble pie you're just like oh Oh, sweet stuff you said. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, but you know what's good, Docs? I got, I got a little quote. You want me to read this quote for you? I got this quote. Yeah. So it's my screensaver, brother. Oh, what's it called? Wallpaper. Yeah. On both the phones, cuz. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, discipline means telling yourself every day that you have to give up instant gratification in order to achieve bigger rewards later on. So I think that's like sort of that, that humble pie is part of like, that, that, that's something that, that I sort of like, uh, um, you know, sort of living on these days, brother. Is just, you know, like you said, just like a, constantly you know putting daily deposits into the direction i want to hit yeah. uh you know and whatever comes comes and just keep going you know just keep going yeah yeah, Bro, that's the of my life right now with this health journey man yeah how's it how, how like 
Because can you speak on that, Nene? Like, uh, just just for anybody that, you know, the 4,000 million people that's going to listen to this talk. <laughs> all right, that's all, all you uh, 600,000 people that are about to jump on me. Um, so, yes. Uh, After I pay you 10 grand for the for the code lab. This is gonna, just a heads up, Togo. This is going to cost a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't really discussed in the contract, but uh, yeah, oh, yeah. that out after, bro. Oh, contract, oh, contract. <laughs> nah. Yeah, man. About um, about two months ago, I just, uh, bro, I just hit rock bottom with my health thing. Um, mm. I've always been a big boy and just freaking unhealthy. Um, my ankles are like really, really bad. I, I still haven't been told directly if it's like gout or because it. It flares up, but it's not like a gout. My dad's got gout. Like, I know what gout is. But mine is, like, mine will, like, even now, it's still sore. Like, I, you see my videos and stuff, I train and stuff, but I train around my ankles, eh? Like, it's, it's there's only so much limitation, like, of movement I, I can do and stuff. But, yeah, my health just hit rock bottom, so I was like, freak, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm going to, I was, I was going to, the plan was to get surgery, the, um, the, what do you call it, the sleeve. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I done the cons consultation, bro, and they told me, um, oh, you're too heavy, because I was like 192 at the time I done the cons consultation. How tall are you, docs? Bro, I'm not tall, bro. I'm short. I'm like 5'10". Oh. Yeah. That's why some of the videos, some of the videos people see me doing push-ups, and they're like, bro, how are you pushing at that weight? I'm like, bro, my arm's like literally half a meter. They're going to go far. <laughs> they're going to go far. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, man, I just... um. I done the consultation and they were like, oh, because I was set. I was like, you know what? I'm going to sort out my super. I'm going to try to get my super refunded and try to pay for the surgery. I think it's like 25 grand. So I was like, fine. Like, I'm, I'm willing. If that's going to give me a second chance at like life and just to be healthier. So I went and done all of that. I, but I, the consultation cost like almost 600 bucks. It was 580 something. Just for the just consultation. For the consultation. Yeah, bro. All right. Wow, still not yeah. as much as you collapsed. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was another petty story that I was just showing you. <laughs> the very, so yeah, yeah, you're sending 600 out. <laughs> yeah, bro, but after, you know what was annoying? After the consultation, the, the doctor goes, I'm just letting you know now you're too heavy. you got to drop down to like 160 um, before you can get the surgery. And I was like, oh, okay. But then straight after that, I was like determined. So I started like eating better and I was like, I was working towards getting the surgery, but I was like still half-hearted. I was like, oh, I'm scared. And then, yeah, man, I was just like, you know what, stuff it, bro. I'm just going to have one more crack at this thing. Like, so that's where Fat Dad to Fit Dad came along. And um, mm. and so the vlogging side of things, that's just me being accountable eh, and just keeping, one, just making sure I'm accountable and like, because it's work, bro, there's, there's a few days where I'm like, oh, I'm too lazy to work out. And then I'm like, bro, like people are following me. They're expecting like this next week's yeah. vlog so i have to like you know i have to and then you know there's times where i just want to like record a snippet and just do like a little thing and then like right now but my mindset is like Fuck, if you're already doing it like just get in there and just do what you gotta do so it's been yeah. good man that's that's my journey so i'm on week eight now um last week was a very emotional week because yeah one of my good mates uh reached out and he's like bro i'll start out of training he's a he's an ex-oakland blues player as well his name's t my love um, oh, yeah. And you reach down yeah, and he's like, oh, bro, um, you know, I want to... Get him on the treat. podcast, because... No, 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 but like after last week, like you know, seeing my bro, my brother just finished drinking kava at like five a.m. and the man rocked up to training. I'm gonna take my hat off to you for that, man. So that boost right there. So that's that's been my vlogs, and I've just been sharing just everything: my training, my eating, um, my dad life. My my aim is for parents, basically, because you know a lot of these uh, personal trainers and stuff. You know, they tell you do stuff, but no one really knows like how the struggle is for, for a parent, you know, like we have so much things we have to do for the kids. Um, I think that's know, a lot of that's around, around single people, eh? Or 
yeah a lot of yeah. that's like focused on single people eh? a lot yeah, of right. it's like, like focused, yeah. Yeah, yeah or like like from a single person's mindset eh? like you can't yeah. like you you're, you're like you have all your time just to focus on you and like you, you said yeah. Uh-huh. yeah it's yeah so my mindset's more like rather than having that because i used to use that as an excuse saying like oh i gotta sort my family out i gotta do family yeah. stuff first now my mindset's like nah but you gotta do you first in order yes, to be able to do your family better yeah that's okay, so, Yeah, that's where I'm at right that's, now, man. That's beautiful. I was gonna say there too, but like, even though it is targeted towards single people and people with families and you busy, at the end of the day, it's like uh, you know, Habib no the former UFC middleweight. Oh, um, for, what do you call it? Lightweight champion. I don't know if you know him, Russian dude, but I remember oh, seeing yeah, the video yeah, of him. Yeah. Yeah, Habib, Habib, and he's like, yeah. he's like Habib, and he's like, you, you, you want to be a champion? You tired? You a little bit tired? Nobody care. You know, yeah. you sick? Nobody care. You know, at the end of the day, it's pretty much what he's saying is like, whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve it, but you gotta push aside every excuse yeah. and not let it like hold you down. So good on you, Doko, for having that accountability with yourself and with yeah. the audience. You know, giving them that. You know, because you're right. Oh, I gotta do a proper video. Yeah. You know, I gotta do another one, which is good for you, Doko. And you know, it's a win-win. It's growing your content, and people are getting to see longer form behind the scenes. Doko, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think. Coupled with your goal of doing this like uh, solely, I reckon it's gonna you know it'll start to marry up though. You know, especially oh, after I've pay their invoice. I'm starting to notice little changes. <laughs> hey. um, mm. You know, I don't really focus on the scale, but like you know, I'm, I'm starting to notice. You know, I'm I'm getting up in the house, like you know, I'm, I'm able to like walk around and do the vacuuming and stuff, like you know. And, I'm just more active. Like today, I finished work today and I just played around with the kids in the front. Usually, I just sit there and watch them play or like, you know, they'll kick the ball and I'll kick it and then I'll sit down. But today, you know, I was running around and it's, it's just, I'm, I'm noticing little changes, which is really good. Um, yeah. Funny. yeah. We talk about quotes, bro. There's a quote I read. I can't really paraphrase it, but it was saying like the, the order. We usually think we need to be motivated to, to do something and then see change, but it's usually... The other way around you know we got to do something to see change and then the motivation like the motivation is the last part it's not the first part but we always get yeah. it twisted how we think we're like oh we need we need motivation to like go and like hustle or we need motivation to go and work but what you really need to do is just get shit done and then yeah, you just do it all and yeah. then when you see the results that's when the motivation kicks in and it's like oh, yeah, it's not- like yeah, that toy, so, yeah. that's on. Oh, no, that's okay. another four hundred dollars for that quote. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't really like that anymore. <laughs> I was like, I heard it again. Doc said, like, <laughs> yeah, who needs that anyway? <laughs> Just write that down. Write that. Write that quote down, bro, and use it. You- you're more than welcome yeah, yeah, to use it as many yeah, times yeah, as you yeah. want. Me. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just write it as Eli Martangi because it's not Javier six seven six. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be like, well, who's Eli? <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> Shout out to the bro. that's all Javier's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Actually, they talk. No, but that's inspirational, though. Like, and and I think for dads, like everybody out there, like you said, for the for the dads and the mums, even like to just. Go and get it, and and you're right. I I think um, motivation comes and goes, cuz hey, like because you know one day you're motivated, yeah. and the next you're not. The next when you're not. when you're driven, docs. When you're driven, no matter what's in front of you, it'll get smashed over. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you said, like good on you for doing the 150 last time we talked about. It, it was 100 and nearly 80 now episodes, but I'm just driven, docs. Yeah, I just want to like talk to as many dope humans as I can, whether they have a platform or not, and like just put their stories out and have these yarns and. Bring some value, even if the value is just them laughing at us uh, with this fake um, pay that I have to give you. <laughs> I, I hope it's fake. <laughs> Ducks. <laughs> One day, the wall, I got you. <laughs> One day. <bro>. Next <laughs> day. This is a lifelong okay. invoice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, lifelong dog. No, 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 I got you, I got you. Yeah, just, nah, just nah. Get, once I get my YouTube views from two to, 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 to 14, I'll, I'll be closer. <laughs> from two to seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, seven for say baby steps, say, bro. Yeah, seven and then 14. Oh, ah, yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> nah, but actually, because when I seen it, when I seen you putting them up, I was like, hey, this is on, this is on, brother, you know. And then I just play it while I'm, you know, sitting there doing these, even like editing these and, uh, 
you know, whatever you know, whatever else we have to do to put these on all the audio platforms and, yeah. and all that. I'm just be watching the door. Yeah, yeah, keep so getting good. it, brother. Yeah, yeah. Hard. and then I was like, Fuck, I'm gonna go to the gym. Then I went to the gym for one week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then I thought, oh, the bro's gonna have to pay me a voice to go back. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna have to pay me a voice because I just committed to the gym membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a sucker. How did it feel like uh, reflecting on your whole journey so far, um, just in life? Uh, being a father, being a being a son, being a proud Tongan, Fijian, uh, Hawaiian, New Zealand, uh, WA. <laughs> no, no, but like reflecting on all that, or are you are you are you proud of the journey so far? Oh, one hundred percent, man. Um, really, yeah, proud. Um, but very grateful, grateful for, especially my circle and like who's in my corner. Um, so. You know, my wife, my girls, my my family, um, they are all the, they're like the four corners, eh, that, that keep me grounded. But grounded is a big thing. Um, my parents, you probably know, man, Islander parents, whether they're Maori or Polynesian, whatever, they keep you humble, eh? They keep you very humble. Um, and <laughs> that's, that's one thing my mom does is she always, she never lets it get to my head, like my platform or like, in a sense, my fame, you know, like we'll go out to public. Well, and, it is fame. You know, like, it is fame. It yeah, is fame. like we'll go out to public. I'll, I'll, I'll get people like line up like at a restaurant and stuff and like come want to take photo with me and the kids and stuff. And like my mom is like, she's always that one person to always remind me like, you know, never, never think you're better than anyone. Never think you don't have time to, if someone like is willing to take their time to come and get a photo of you or come and chat with you, never think you're like too good or you're too busy and be like, oh yeah, sorry bro, like, Oh no, nah, bro! Like you know, I don't want to get a photo. Um, so you know, they they keep me pushing forward, but they also still keep me grounded. Um, obviously, my wife and kids, everything I do is for them, um, including this whole health stuff. You know, it's it's for me, but it's like I said before, it's in order for me to to do my best as a dad. I I need to do like do my best for me first. So yeah, man. Overall, man, I'm I'm just I'm just grateful. Opportunities like this, bro, to come chat to you opportunity for me to be able to share like you know my my story and you know the, I'm, I'm just the ordinary dad man like freaking mm. you'll probably see my vlogs you see my videos there's nothing flash man it's just i just keep it real um and i think that's why it sits a lot with a lot of people as a lot of people can relate to my content but um yeah man I'm, I'm just in a space right now where i'm very grateful i am i also keep in mind that you know all of this can disappear tomorrow or something can go wrong and so that's when it goes back to my four corners and the people that really matter the people that are really in my corner so they're, they're my safe space as well man so if if all of this flips off tomorrow and like i lose contracts or i lose you know lose followers or whatever like i know for a fact that the people that are backing me up are still there so yeah man that's that's where i'm at right now it's one day at a time but i'm a big advocate for just one day at a time eh? Very me too, cause you day one day at a time, or, or you know, short short steps, long vision, baby. So yeah, that's it, day by day, brother. Now nah, beautiful. Before we get out of here, uh, docs, I got a I got a couple of little quick ones. Is that all right? Yeah, bro. If you could only <laughs> if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what meal do you choose? Uh do you know what Lu CP is? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, Lu CP. So, tarolene, <laughs> coconut cream. And CP. <laughs> yeah, but who's like your, your, your mum's or, your, uh, or your my nana's man? Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. That, yeah. yeah. Sorry, mum, if you're watching this, <laughs> oh, I bet you she'll definitely be watching this. Everyone's gonna. <laughs> Actually, I, I mentioned earlier, I li I spent a few years in um in Tonga living with my nana. Yeah, and uh, bro, as old as she is, she still used to do the umu, like the underground oven, the hangi and stuff. She used to um she used to still do that and like. She's a seven-day Adventist, so she used to make her on Sundays in Tonga. They make their umu, the underground oven, and their meals on a Sunday morning before church. Mm -hmm. But with seven-day Adventists, they go to church on Saturday night. Saturday, yeah. yeah. So she used to like make hers on Saturday night. So I used to have the best of both worlds, bro, because I'd come home from church on Saturday night, and I'll eat like a loo, and then on Sunday morning for breakfast, you wake up and there's still leftovers from the night before, and you mm -hmm. smash that out too, and like. 
bro, there was just something about the loo when she used to make it, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. It was just, bro, you're making me fall off track with my diet right now, just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> From fat dad to fat dad. <laughs> From fat dad to fat dad again. <laughs> Nah, you got the oh, yeah, yeah. Blue CP, blue CP yeah, day, but then there's one uh you do on a Saturday and then rolling into mums on the Sunday. <laughs> Let's go. <Yeah. laughs> <You're a whole laughs> I like it. Cool. If you could have one superpower, which one do you choose and why? And maybe even make one up the wall. I mean, I used to I used to always think um to read people's mind, but like now I sit down, I'm mm. like, I don't know if I really want that, eh? Oh, she didn't even read your comments, Docs. We gotta read people's minds, Docs. <laughs> Yogi, Yogi, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> Notification off. You can't turn it off if that's your superpower, Docs. <laughs> you gotta go live in the bush by yourself. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, why can't I read the mind? Oh, freak, my notification is off. <laughs> Oh, is it what do you want? So that's not what you want now, Tom? Or still is? is it, is it nah, it's not, it's not what I want now because I don't know. Over the past few weeks, I've gotten into this headspace where I'm like, bro, oh, just not in a bad way, but just like, F what everyone thinks. Hey, if you, want, if, you know, it no, doesn't matter what everyone thinks way. about you, you just yeah. work on you. Like, so because you know, and it's funny how that came to mind because I was lifting in the gym and I was I must the, shirt. Heaps, they heaps. The, the shirt I was wearing was a bit small. Um, and I was lifting and it was coming up and, you know, my belly was showing. And, like, yeah. usually I get really insecure about that, you know. I'm like, I'm like, kind of, like, tuck my shirt or, like, pull it down. But for some reason that day I was just lifting and I was like, bro, stuff it. Like, if people see my belly, they see it. Like, you know, That's I know true. my goal. I'm working towards, you know, one day when I lift it and my shirt goes up and people will look at my belly and be like, oh, wow, look at those abs. Like, that was my mentality. Eh? So I was like, so, I don't know. I don't know if I want that superpower right now, man. Um I think I'll just take a as cliche as it sounds, bro. I'll go with flying in. I'll just fly. Yeah. Where are you gonna fly to, Docs? Just fly, fly, away. <laughs> fly away. Just fly away. Go anywhere, for man. Well, because you can't hide from the daughter, they I can fly. <laughs> go for later, guys. break up there. Uh, later, guys. You can't catch me now. <laughs> I like it though. Hey Docs, uh, visualization 10 years from now. What's life like for Eli Matangi, Javier 676? What is life like, brother? Um, healthier is one. Yes. Um, and when I say healthier, you know, I, I want to be healthier in all aspects, man. Like mentally, uh, mm. physically, um, emotionally, financially, bro. Like just healthier. Um, I, I, I pray and hope that I still have like a great relationship with my kids 10 years from now, the same way I have it with them right now, because, you know, we see what happens when kids grow up and distance goes between parents and kids. So I, I hope that the, the bond and the relationship I, I still have with my girls is, is something that gets stronger in 10 years from now. Um, I hope my ankles are good and I can run. <laughs> yeah, back to Pelly, eh? Get another chip. <laughs> no, I rep uh, Queensland Reds now, bro. <laughs> oh, Queensland Reds. <laughs> like you ever fucking rip the Western Force. <laughs> Who's the so, Reds now? You know, funny Reds story. The, the only reason why I got to rep the Reds now and like the Wallabies and stuff is because mm -hmm. um possible collaboration. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up the Wallabies. Are, are, are you teaching me yeah. some skills? Look what, Yo, are you teaching Wallabies. me some skills? Oh, yeah. I love the Wallabies. <laughs> Bro, so. hey, anybody that's listening to me, my father, I'm joking, of course I don't. But like you know, I love the country that we live in for sure. Yeah, <laughs> the opportunities. The opportunities. Nah, I like that. Like, see, up the red. See, get it. Collabs. Collab with the dog. All right, my dog, I just want to say time is the most valuable commodity we have as human beings. The one thing we can never get back. We can always get back things. We can always get back money. But time spent is time lost. So thank you for sharing an hour plus of your time with me, Togo. It means that the world, like, uh, giving me a little opportunity, and uh, you know, one day when LeBron James sits on this podcast too, brother, you can say, "Baby, I was in there back in." I remember before you were LeBron James on there, wait, you know, and, and all the homies that that I, that I take with me, you know, we appreciate you, brother, coming on and giving us opportunity. Cheers, Tom. Appreciate you, man.
Hopefully, yeah. LeBron shows you that I'm I'm in one of his movies too, eh? So. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. If not, Toko, I'll check it up, G. We'll be brave. Put, put my Toko in there, man. He went from fat dad to fit dad. Come on, now. Nah. <laughs> Goes for a whistle for oh, never... no, no, no. shout out to Mumsy too, Togo. Shout out to Mumsy, shout out to the babies, man, and Cheers, success, health, wealth, and everything that you strive for, my brother. Go Likewise, get it. Let's... Thank you so much for watching this full episode of Mind the Mic. It takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to create these episodes. So to know that you've watched and listened to the entire thing means the world to myself and all our hosts. If you could, before you leave, please hit the subscribe button and share this episode out to as many people as possible. It would help us so much. Thank you again to everybody that's still here, still watching. Thank you for all your comments, all your shares, all the DMs. Appreciate you all. Make sure you follow us on every platform. Have an awesome morning. Have an awesome night, depending on where you are in the world. Mind the mic out. Oi, have you hit the link in bio yet? Watch full episodes on YouTube or listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and all streaming platforms. Duh.